Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will introduce you to Next.js. It is the React framework for the productions. And in this tutorial, I will also um, try to show you how to install Next.js application as well. Okay, so now let's just take a look at my computer screen. I am now on the Next.js.org, which is the official website of the uh, Next.js. And now let's just take a look. Why do we need to choose the Next.js? So um, there's tons of the uh, feature and also the benefits of using the uh, Next.js. So one of them is the image optimizations. Uh, they have the uh, analytics as well and more such as the SSG or the pre-render pages at the build time or SSR which is the or stand for the server side rendering. And it also supports the uh, TypeScript and there's a lot more. So now let's just take a look at the history of the uh, server side rendering or SSR. Okay, so here you can see that uh, when developer realized that it is too much uh, pushing too much React code to the front end can be a problem. Uh, it affects the performance. And that's a reason why the question asked, uh, is it possible to run in React but instead of shipping all of the code to the client or to the browser, we want to ship the HTML uh, documents instead. And that's a reason why the server side rendering for React was born. Okay, so here you can also see that what the uh, SSR does is it uh, when we try to write React code and we somehow run it in the server and say and like the mobile or the uh, browser, then it send the HTML code to the client. So basically the server side, it will try to convert all of the code into a HTML document and it send that HTML document to the browser uh, to show it to the um, uh, users. And here you can see that it is a win-win for everybody. Uh, get to the code and the technology you love. And the thing is that it is the massive uh, performance boost and Google just love that. And here, these are the reasons why uh, we want to choose the Next.js. And without further ado, let's now get into the coding part. All right, to get started, first you will need to install Node.js. And to install, you will need to click on this button. And once you have this installed, you will also need to uh, install another one, which is the Visual Studio Code, where you can just write your code and compile as well. And Again, for this one, you will need to click on this uh, to download. It depends on whether you are using Mac OS or Linux. So uh, once you uh, have this installed as well, uh, next thing you need to do is to create a new folder. I create mine uh, called the uh, Next.js in my drive D. So once I have this uh, folder created, I open the folder right inside the uh, Visual Studio Code. So now the next thing that I want to do is to click on terminal and click on the uh, new terminal. Okay, so I'll need to go back here and click on the docs. Okay, so now let me just scroll down and here this is the command that we can set up the uh, Next.js app. So I'm going to copy this one real quick. So copy that and go back here. So what am I going to do next? Just uh, uh, give a name here. So I would call this as again the same one as my folder that I created. Call it as Next.js which is my uh, app name. So once I have that I will need to press enter. Okay so while the application is still installing I just want to quickly show you the other command where you can also use as well. You can also use the yawn and if you want to install it manually, you can use npm install with the next and uh, react, react DOM, as you can see here. Then uh, what I'm using is the first one, which is the automatically install uh, everything for you, as you can see here as well. Okay, so um, it's the installing. So once this finished, I'll show you how to edit the page and how to also uh, run this application as well. Alright, so here you can see that it successfully 
uh, install when I click on here uh, you can see that we got the pages folder we got public and also styles as well so I just want to quickly uh, introduce you for the pages uh, we got the index.js this is where we will see when I try to uh, run these applications and for the uh, app.js here this is the component and for the um, API so this is where you create your uh, API endpoint so for the public this will be uh, like your images and yep like icon and stuff and for the style folder here this is how you want to style your uh, text or your component and we also have this uh, installed by default as well the git ignore um, here inside the package.json we got the name here the versions and also the script which is the dev uh, next dev so we will need to uh, run this so you can see that there's a suggested uh, uh, command where we can also try to use and run as well so it start with the npm run and which is this one right here the dev it will just run this uh, command so now let me just quickly type npm run dev and press enter okay so now we got a message saying that there's some issue so the reason being is that uh, right now I'm inside the next.js and if you remember when I click on and try to open here so whatever that you can see here this is another folder which is the same one as I created so what I need to do I will need to go inside this uh, next.js folder before I can run that comment or if you also want to run it directly inside this next.js what you can do you can just try to uh, cut everything and paste it into that um, uh, root folder here that also fine so for now I'll just try to run again using the npm run dev okay so here we can see that it say ready and started the server on this so I uh, need to uh, click to open this URL control and click alright guys so here we can see that it is up and running running on local um, host 3000 which is running on port 3000 and here if I want to edit this text I can just come to this uh, under pages and the index.js this is all uh, the place that where we can try to uh, update so right now what I uh, want to quickly do is to uh, update the text saying welcome to next.js so it will be on top right here so what I want to do uh, uh, instead of saying this I'll just say it's like welcome to next.js tutorial and the a tag just remove that also I want to get rid all of this So we be man. Yep, it would look something like this. This is power by should be fine for now. The footer. Uh save it. And here once I save, you can see that it compiled automatically and we got the success as well. Now let's just go back here and here you go. Um we have the power uh welcome to Next.js uh, tutorial and power by the virtual as you can see here so the difference here is again what you are seeing right here the text here this uh, type of component it uh, try to render before it uh, deliver to this uh, browser so the server will just try to render the content the component and turn it into the HTML then we can see the uh, the content right in the browser so uh, before it even hit the uh, browser it try to uh, compile or try to already convert it into the HTML that's uh, something called the server-side rendering or pre-rendering and that's how we install and get the overview of what Next.js is and it's quite simple just uh, running one command and we would be able to get this up and running 
I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any question, let me know and I'll try to answer as much as I can. And uh, don't forget to hit a like button on this video, uh, subscribe to this channel and also comment as well uh, to get more content like this. And until then, see you guys in the next video.